Okay, so scholarship opportunities. I don't think master students get a lot of um, opportunities. I don't know of any opportunity scholarship opportunity actually. Okay. So uh, TA and reader are the only two options if you want to get funding. Usually PhD students they have a lot of uh, scholarship opportunities on campus. Mm -hmm. So for masters, I don't think there's any scholarship opportunity. But you get uh, these on campus jobs pretty easily. If not a TA or reader, you could try for um, you know working part time on campus uh, cafeterias. But again, those people they usually prefer undergrads for it. Once you get a TA or a reader, you along with the stipend, you also get a fifty percent tuition waiver, which is a lot. Trust me. So um, yeah, the tuition absolutely. fee, yeah. yeah. So the tuition fee for every quarter is about ten thousand. If you don't waive out on the insurance, if you waive out on the insurance, it will be about nine thousand five hundred. From that nine thousand five hundred, you will get back half of your money. So four thousand five hundred, you get back, and so your tuition fee is waived off fifty percent tuition. So um, it's not difficult at all at UCI because UCI is actually very well known for its career fairs. Um, okay. The only thing is, uh, you will be coming here in at the end of September, which is already very late. If you look at other colleges, um, you know they they have a semester structure, so their college starts in August, early August, and you will be coming here almost two months later. Mm -hmm. So my suggestion would be. Um, Start applying while you're in India, because people start. So other colleges like USC is very close by. They start applying, you know, in early September or end of August. But by the time you come here, it'll already be end of September. So you'll already be a bit late. You'll then start adjusting. So start applying for internships. Not a lot. Like you'll get more clarity when you come here. But just start looking at, you know, what positions are there, what companies are there. Um, okay. In October, we had our career fair, our STEM main career fair, on October nineteenth, which was mm -hmm. about twenty days after we started with our fall quarter. So it's very fast. Um, career fairs, uh, the companies are really good. Google had come, Uber, um, Amazon did not really hire this time at all. Last time they hired very heavily, so this time there was no hiring from Amazon. Mm -hmm. um, Microsoft had come. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, like lot of companies, lot of companies, and Norvine actually has a lot of startups too, so we have an advantage there. Yeah. So during career fairs, just have a lot of uh, resume copies handy, twenty, twenty-five, whatever number of resume copies you want. Go up to them, talk to them, have an elevator pitch ready, um, and you know, kind of try to uh, get them to engage in a conversation with you. Try to impress mm -hmm. them. Also, um, okay. before the career fair, before or after, many companies will conduct information sessions. So Microsoft actually had two information sessions. Make sure you attend them, uh, because that's when you'll actually have a more, um, you know, personal conversation with the recruiters there. Career fairs, thousands of people come up to them, but not a lot of people attend these information sessions. So make sure you do that.